What do you think the purpose of life is? I guess it would be to, um, to try to better the lives of the majority of the people. What do you think the purpose of the world is? I don't think there is a purpose. It happened. I don't know. I'm an agnostic. Uh, but that's certainly one of the themes of my life search. Since the dawn of history, man has sought to understand his world. The advance of human know-how throughout the centuries has helped us uncover an ever more amazing world. It's given us greater power over the materials with which we build, helped us move faster and further toward wonders just waiting to be discovered. But with each advance of knowledge, the more we understand of the hidden mysteries of the universe, the marvels of the human body, the miracles of nature, the workings of a computer chip, the more we realize how little we truly understand. Perhaps there is some deeper reality just waiting to be revealed. In the past 200 years, mankind has discovered, invented, and produced more than in the entire span of recorded history. We have witnessed tremendous breakthroughs in the realms of science, medicine, and technology, occurring at breakneck speed, unleashing new powers never before dreamed of, blurring the boundaries of man's potential. The development of technology is forcing people to confront a crucial existential issue. What am I? Am I content to be a merely smarter animal that can create more clever tools to live a more powerful animal life? Is that enough? The search has taken us around the world and across the universe, seeking answers to the age-old questions. Why was the world created? What is the purpose of life? Science has its way of offering answers, and religion has answers of its own. But are science and religion as far apart as they seem? Traditionally, when science first came on the scene, many people saw it as science and technology as somehow being a contradiction to religion, a contradiction to God. And what we're seeing happen is more and more scientists, including Nobel laureates and the like, who are proclaiming that their studies are bringing them into a greater appreciation and insight into the workings of God and His creation. In the midst of our technological revolution, Time magazine asked scientists about the concepts of a deity, the origins of the universe, and the beginnings of life on Earth. They cite an intriguing book about God, Cosmos Bios Theos, produced not by theologians, rather by 60 world-class scientists, 24 Nobel Prize winners among them. Co-editor and Yale physicist Henri Marginot concludes, there is only one convincing answer for the intricate laws that exist in nature. Creation by an omnipotent, omniscient God. Wisdom is developing on the secular front, is no longer secular, but is actually enables us to develop a greater insight and appreciation into God's workings in this creation. And moreover, these scientific insights also seem to reveal God's purpose, the alleviation of human suffering. The doctor was explaining to him, we take veins out of the leg and use them to replace the, the veins in the heart. How is it that you can walk afterwards? He said, because there are extra veins in the leg. Guess what? There are extra veins which are almost never used. So he said, it seems that God put them there so that when we'll be able to do surgery, we'll have something that can repair the heart. Now we look at these discoveries and these inventions as gifts from God. God wants us to have these things at this time. The deeper question, why does he want them to have it at this time? In all the thousands of years of history, all these great inventions and uh, came about all about in the same period of time on all fronts biological medical uh, technological and industrial fronts the question is why why now and why all at once there have been discoveries and inventions in previous times but they were relatively few and far between the inventions of the wheel 
the catapult, and the discoveries of gunpowder and even fire. However, in more recent times during the scientific and industrial revolutions, historians are astounded that advances have happened so quickly, with amazing synchronicity, and with such acceleration.